I wanted to share with you this very special box I built for my mom's ashes. I know I haven't talked about my mom very much uh, in the past couple months since she passed away. But believe me, I'm still having a very tough time with it. Uh, like my brain just can't accept that she's not around anymore. But uh, pretty much every couple days I have a pretty good cry in my shed here. In the late spring, I will be sending my mom's ashes about 3,300 3, kilometers away, which is pretty high up there as far as kilometers go. Uh, we felt that my mom would want to be buried with her parents. So it's quite the long journey, and I wanted her to be sent in something much nicer than a cardboard box, which I was given. Um, I built this box from one piece of oak. It was four by three inches, and I cut it into half inch slabs and uh, made this box. I wanted it to be very special, but I didn't want to overdo it and make it tacky looking, which I hope I didn't. I did lots of different things on here that I've never done before. I tried doing some dovetail joints, but they did not work out very well. I also used doweling and glue to hold things together. I did some chisel work to uh, recess the hinges. I did wood burning. I also did some carving. I don't know if you can see that, but these uh, lily of the valley here, which was my mom, one of my mom's favorite flowers. I tried uh, carving it into the the wood. So that was something I've never tried before. I also did some painting. And I also painted a. Uh, daisy on the side as well. I incorporated some musical notes. My mom was a champ at Name That Tune and had a big influence on me as far as music goes. On the inside, I have some chain to hold the lid. I put in some decorative paper on the inside, just glued it in. And then I have a picture of my mom on the inside. I was basically waiting for this picture before I could finish this box. I actually built this box uh, a little while ago. I was just waiting on a picture. And this is when my mom was at her best. This picture was taken probably early 90s. And she would have been about the same age as I am now. And I think she would want to be remembered like that.